Hey y'all, this is another video that is a bit more human, relatable, and just what I've honestly been going through recently. This video is split into two parts. Part one, venting about life, and part two, responses to the problems in my life after I went away and did mushrooms on the weekend. I hope you enjoy. What's up guys? I feel kind of scared to record this. I've been feeling kind of scared in general recently of life. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to make this is because my friends today, they watch my videos and they told me like, oh, we're so happy for you. It looks like you're doing so well and you're glowing and you're in your dream place. And you know, there's a part of that that's true. You know, I'm in LA and it's been my dream to be here for the longest time and I'm in a relationship and on paper, it seems like I've kind of got everything that I would have ever wanted, but I've been feeling so fucking lost inside recently. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I just wanted to kind of vent because it really helps me to vent on here with you guys. And I hope that it helps you feel seen because I saw this video of this woman on TikTok. She's a psychotherapist and she was saying that she looks for people who show her that it is okay to be human and i thought to myself yes same sis i'm looking for that all the time so let me be that person that makes you feel like it's fucking okay to have bad days because to be honest i've been feeling like that a lot recently ever since i've come to la like my life has plateaued a little bit if you imagine it like a graph going up instead of the graph continuously going up i feel like i've just kind of hit a wall and it's been flat and I've just been really overwhelmed. I had a session with my therapist today. <sighs> I've been feeling overwhelmed with fucking adulthood. I found out recently that I'm in a lot of debt for my taxes, which I had no fucking idea that I even was in debt because I don't know how the whole tax stuff functions in the UK. I need to take care of that. And I've been feeling so overwhelmed and it's not even like I don't have the money to take care of it It's more so that every time I think of paperwork and having to do anything that has to do with adulthood and being responsible I feel fucking paralyzed and I don't know if it's because I grew up in a very chaotic family and people in my family Weren't really responsible and didn't take care of things like even my parents had a lot of issues with debt and I've just I've been feeling like Nobody really helps me. I've been having this sensation where it's like I'm complaining that nobody helps me, but then when people do help me, I cannot receive their help. And I wonder what the hell that's about. For some reason, I cannot let it in. And, and, and when I do let it in, I almost feel like I then owe them something. And I don't like that feeling. Or I feel like they're controlling me because of the fact that they helped me or some shit like that. I also don't know how to ask for help. I wish there was just somebody that I could pay that would take care of like all of these adult things that I don't want to do. Like my taxes and the fact that I've moved here from the UK and I'm in the States and it's like bank accounts, all of this shit. I don't even want to think about it. It just exhausts me and you know but like recently I've been trying to stay consistent with recording videos on YouTube but I feel like I'm hitting a wall there too because I'm doing the same thing again that I was doing before I had my fucking mental breakdown in January which is I'm going in the same direction as I have been going and I don't want to go in the same direction anymore I want to make a change but I'm struggling so much to implement this change and this change is into more creative stuff I'm an artist I don't want to talk about the same shit I've been talking about and I know that a lot of people do support me and have been saying like sis do what you want to do and we'll support you so I'm like, okay, I have the support. Why do I keep postponing the process? And then I realized today when I was in therapy, talking about this with her, that the reason why I'm postponing it is because I have a massive fear of failure. I didn't even realize I had that. This video on TikTok of this psychotherapist talking about shame, actually, is what the video was about. She said that procrastination is a way to avoid feeling shame, and perfectionism is a way to avoid feeling shame. Literally, I have been sitting on 
this song that I've recorded for the past few months. There's a lot of songs that I've recorded, but I'm just like not putting out for some reason. And to me, it's very important to be authentic and original. And I almost feel like this is what I'm being called to do to be authentic and to fucking be original and to be myself. But yet, I'm really struggling to step into that. I wanted to sing you guys a song before I continue talking <laughs> because my music is the way that I express myself truthfully and I wrote a song and it's about going through changes and it's about the discomfort and I wanted to sing it for you guys and then I'll continue talking you know I have to do things in my own way guys I want to be special and I am special and if you're watching this you're fucking special too and you see what happens when I start talking about my music is actually when I want to fucking smile again because these past few days i've just been feeling so numb and like everything feels the same i'm like okay what's next and i also feel like that's been happening since i moved to la there's this sensation of all right what's next like now i hit this goal that i've been looking forward to for so long and i'm like what what is next you know all right this song is called growing pains while the ad is playing <laughs> There's a lot of people I don't fuck with anymore There's a lot of mirrors that I'd rather just let go of No, I do not, oh yeah, nothing Growing every day, it seems that spirit set the pace Guess this is just love, we gotta pause, there is no reason I believe it is the time, the season to let go of what's not mine This is my goodbye letter The full moon energy, it got my spirit light and free the pieces have come together The French is made from ego Have no chance of surviving Lost but I am found I gotta trust all the signs Keep my head held so high I am complete Oh yes I am complete Lost but I am found I gotta trust all the signs Keep my head held so high I am complete Oh yes I am complete like a snake, I'm steady, shedding skin, I can't complain No life that awaits me, it can come without no pain I believe there's magic in the times it only rains I gotta trust that change is promised, nothing ever stays the same I believe there is karma in everything I don't believe that we oughta I do silently blossom, I am complete I am so damn whole No, 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 no Didn't continue from there What I was going to tell you guys about as well, I've had this thing where I like my whole life, I've desperately wanted to feel seen. But now that I am given opportunities where I can feel seen, I am choosing to not be seen. And as I spoke about this today with my therapist, I realized it's like there's this wound inside of me of never having really felt heard. And I think that that's healing now and never having felt seen. And now when I do get the opportunity to feel seen and to feel heard, I don't feel worthy of it. So there's like two wounds there. There's like the wound of desperately wanting to be seen and then the wound of, well, I'm not worthy of this though. And I'm not worthy of good things. <sighs> it makes me feel upset. I've been feeling a lot of self-hatred recently, especially since I cut my hair short and it's my natural hair color that's been coming out like what you see right now this is my natural hair color and i haven't had my natural hair color since i've been nine years old and i don't know what it is but i've just been experiencing a lot of self-hatred i've been kind of regretting the fact that i cut my hair short and yesterday i had this really horrible headache that was severe I usually when i have something physical going on it's because there's something emotional that i'm not confronting and then it kind of gets released in my body to sort of bring my attention to it. So I had this horrible headache and I didn't want to acknowledge it and I went to dance class and it made it even worse. And I have this book on my phone which is called Heal Your Body by Louise Hay. 
and I love it so much because she basically let me show it to you she has like all the problems here and then in the middle she has what it means spiritually and on the right she has an affirmation to tell yourself this book has been healing my shit basically I went to see what headache meant because every single time I've had a physical problem and I've looked at what it means here it's been accurate and the affirmation has always like healed it pretty much straight up so when I looked at headache it said invalidating the self self-criticism and fear and then the affirmation was I love and approve of myself I see myself and what I do with eyes of love I am safe when I saw this affirmation I bawled my eyes out in the uber driving home from dance class I was bawling my eyes out and my headache was getting worse but it was like I couldn't stop crying and I just felt like I don't love myself at the moment I don't know why and I'm not saying this to get pity or whatever I'm somebody you know I've learned about myself that oftentimes I just need to voice what I'm going through and be vocal about it and not keep it inside and then that way I set it free and I hope that by me doing this you feel permission to do the same in your life because oftentimes it really is just giving ourselves permission to voice what we keep inside and when we set it free, we can feel better about it. I feel strange. I feel like I was a child a second ago. And now I'm in this adult body and I'm supposed to be a woman. Whatever the fuck that means. I just wonder like, what the fuck is life sometimes? What is going on? And do we ever really know what the hell is going on? Or are we just constantly kind of pretending that we know what's going on, but really we have no idea? I don't know. I really hope that me making this video is gonna make me feel better in some way because usually when I've come on here and I've just been like brutally honest about what I'm really going through, it actually helps me. It sets me free. So I hope it sets someone else free too. Oh my God, guys. So much has happened since I recorded the video that you just watched. It's only been a few days, but so much has happened. As you saw in my introduction, I did shrooms this weekend. And I had so many realizations. I am so grateful that YouTube has become my outlet because I've been moving through my problems in lightning speed recently. And I think it's because I'm just giving myself permission to voice stuff like I did last time. But you know, she's back. I had a lot of realizations this weekend that I wanted to share with you and hopefully you find yourself relating hopefully you find yourself feeling like positive so I'm gonna be honest there's something that I didn't mention and I realized that this was actually the biggest reason why I felt really lost so as I've told you guys I'm in a relationship and I realized that when you're in a relationship I have a habit of making my partner responsible for my happiness and it's really not something that i do intentionally i think it's a pattern i picked up from my mom where i really neglect myself when i get into a relationship i start making my partner's happiness my responsibility as well as expecting him to make me happy and that was one of the biggest reasons why i was feeling lost and it's actually a cycle that I'm currently breaking with this relationship because all relationships I've been in, in the past have ended really quickly and this one is the right one so I'm learning a lot about myself but I realized this weekend we went up into the mountains with a group of friends and we did mushrooms and I don't know who you are and like what kind of stuff you're into or if you you know believe in it or not or if you're against it or not but there is research that shows that mushrooms are able to rewire neural connections in your brain so i'm not really somebody who's on board with drugs but when it comes to mushrooms i find it can be incredibly healing and perspective changing it can shift your perspective to see the bigger picture and i feel like that's what my problem was is i was looking at everything through the lens of the ego and I realized one of my biggest problems with the video that you just watched is that I'm incredibly impatient. I have literally just gotten to LA. I don't know why I'm so hard on myself and I expect everything to move like this. Sometimes life doesn't move as fast as I want to and that's fine. And another thing is too, I was saying, complaining rather, that 
I'm not making changes, but I realized I have been making changes. I've been making a lot of changes. It's just that these changes are gradual and it takes time. Now what happened when I took mushrooms was I was with this group of people and all of a sudden I had this insane rush of energy in my whole body from the mushrooms and I felt like it was overbearing and I couldn't be around people. And I had the realization that I don't spend enough time with myself. I don't do enough of what I love and what I know makes me happy. Like my music, like dancing. I dance regularly, but I realized I need even more. Ever since I quit smoking weed, there's this space in my life that used to be filled with smoking weed. And now this space has to be filled with something else if I don't want to fall back into old patterns. And I feel like I was kind of in a long distance relationship before I came to LA because my boyfriend is here. But I had to go back to London the past few months. So me coming back here, I feel that there has been a lot of expectations on everything, on you know, seeing my partner again and it's just been this pressure build up and me coming back to LA and I forget that the move I just made is huge. I moved across the ocean from a place, London, that I called home to suddenly a new home and it takes fucking time to adapt to that. So that was a really big realization for me and just the sense of not putting so much pressure on anybody, not on myself, not on my partner, not on anyone. Now, another thing I freaking realized about my hair, you know, I was saying like, I feel self-hatred about my hair. So you want to know why it clicked for me. I realized it's because I have this trauma from my childhood of feeling like there's something wrong with me because I can be very tomboyish, like, the way that I dress is either like a boy or like a hoe. There is no in-between. And that is how I like to dress. Thing is, now let me get to the trauma. When I was a kid, my brother actually ended up chopping off all of my hair. So it was the same length. It was short like this. And I remember I didn't have any friends at school at that time. I was like maybe six or seven years old. And my dad's side of the family they would call me a german swear word for trans it sounds really fucked up to be exposing this stuff about like my family but um it's a real trauma and i'm sharing it because i'm sure that some of us can relate i was basically shamed for being boyish and it's actually really terrible now that i really think about it I was always forced to wear girly clothes. I was forced to do my hair in girly ways. I was forced to be girly and I wasn't. I wanted to play soccer and do things with my brother. I was a really big tomboy when I was a kid. And I liked that, but they made me hate that about myself. And this weekend when I was on mushrooms, this wound got triggered. I felt inside of myself like, there's something wrong with me like I should be more of a woman I'm not womanly enough and I kind of realized that I need to accept myself it's that simple I can continue to walk through life and hate myself or I can choose to accept myself and I think the route that a lot of us go is we don't confront that self-hatred and it just harbors we have a lot of shame towards ourselves and we don't talk about it and gradually it becomes something where either we feel bitter in life or we force ourselves to be something that we are not. We force ourselves to be someone that we are not. And I realized that was the choice that is presented to me or we can choose to accept ourselves as we are. And then truly nothing on the outside can rattle you when you are sure about who you are. And not only do I need to accept myself and my short hair because, bitch, I can't fucking change this shit right now. Like, it's short. I'm gonna have to accept it. And, you know, I'm still a fucking bad bitch regardless. I have to remind myself of that. There's a saying which goes, the grass isn't greener on the other side. It's green where you water it. I don't know if you've heard of that saying. It's a very common one. 
And it essentially means that we always think that happiness or what we want is over there or that what's over there is better than what we have here. And I think it's a bit human nature to be that way. Like, if you have curly hair, you want straight hair. If you have straight hair, you want curly hair. We always want what we don't have. And I realized this weekend that I need to romanticize more what I have in my life and be appreciative of everything that I do have. Shifting my attitude to gratitude, bitch. And something about that saying, I believe that when we are constantly focusing on where we think we should be or focusing on how unhappy we are with our life, we are missing the magic of what is right in front of us. So just romanticizing shit like that or the fact that I'm in LA instead of kind of going off in my head and saying oh why are things not moving faster why has my life plateaued instead i should see it as i'm in fucking la and i've been wanting to be here for the longest time and even if nothing happens right now it's okay because the universe has given me the space to rest and integrate into this new place and to enjoy myself here you know, they say you gotta stop and smell the roses and I really, really felt that when I was on mushrooms. There is no fucking point in stressing about where you're at. Sometimes it is understandable to feel that way and that's why I'm not gonna shame myself because it's human to have these moments and to express that is how you set it free, as I said. I asked the question, what the hell are we doing? Does anybody ever know what they're doing? And then I realized when I took mushrooms, we don't need to know what the fuck we're doing. We really don't. If you don't know what you're doing and you feel lost as I did, I'm gonna tell myself to adapt more of an attitude of adventure and not thinking I have to control every single bit of it because I don't think that that's what life is about and I think that's the biggest thing I've been realizing especially after mushrooms is just acceptance acceptance of who I am acceptance of where I'm at acceptance of what I want to do and the way that I am and to love myself as I am. All parts, not just the version of me that is happy or the version of me that feels like she's got it figured out, but also the version of me that feels fucking lost and confused and doesn't know what the hell is going on and is negative and is moody and is complaining. That version of me also deserves love. So I hope me saying that makes you feel like all the versions of you deserve love too and are very lovable. I'm embracing change and I was looking at change as a bad thing but i think i'm realizing now that change is a beautiful thing and it's a little roller coaster ride and i don't have to fight it and even if some days i don't know what the hell is going on that's why i'm an artist to release my negative emotions into my art or into my videos i feel like shrooms really put me into that delicious fucking state of mind that i love to be in where i see everything on the bright side and it was so nice to return to the fucking bad bitch that i am but anyways that is all i have to say today guys i really hope that this video benefited you i hope that it made you feel good and i shall see you next time sending you so much love and light bye